Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in the city of New Zealand. Now, today, we've got some plans to try and get our university up to top level, our forestry up to top level, to expand onto, uh, well, to finish off the rest of the expansion on this island, if we swing it round over here, which is going to help us with our university expansion as well. And we're going to be working on our forestry industry. It's one of the only few industries that hasn't got up to level five yet, I believe. Let's have a look at the industry overview. Yeah, look, we've got oil, ore and farming but the tea tree wood production is struggling and i think all of these things are going to go together nicely to enable us to do that and that will unlock the last few factories that we've got uh, which i'm probably thinking we're going to have a factory area somewhere else we've got everything down here at the moment and i was sort of looking at this thinking you know if this was a real life city you'd, you'd have an area where you've got a lot of the factory stuff going on but you'd have somewhere else as well you wouldn't have all the factory work in one place you might have like another port this looks like a port sort of shape maybe over there help some of these people get work and that will help to expand maybe over into this area as well but we'll we'll take that as it comes so just one little fix over here at the airport uh, that we did last episode i think it was we had a few videos in between is it was pointed out to me a little tiny mistake i made which we'll fix uh oh okay i've removed that uh, from there i think but anyway uh, we want one of those to go round and then this one can go off to either of those um just to help people that come from this side otherwise they have to go all the way round, all the way out all the way around the roundabout and then all the way oh no from the this side to this side they have to go all the way out round the roundabout and of course, anyway you get the idea because i was forcing everybody to leave so i think that will be good and then i might just set give way on there where they come in just so there's no hawky balkiness. And yes, that's fine. That'll work nicely. Okay, let's head back on over to the other area. So here we are at Tranquility Point. We've got one of our little university uh, extensions over here, which is helping these lovely people to get to university. And what I found was interesting was when I was looking at this area, uh, if we have a look, we've actually got schools out uh, policy on this section here. There we go, we can see that. And that, as we know, only a small portion of the eligible citizens will go to university. But if we look at our education and go to university, you can see they've all gone. Uh, maybe let's do it like that, it'd be easier to see. There we go. University. It's a few lighter colours, but I think most of these are graduated, which is which is absolutely fantastic. So I think that can help us with our tea tree wood production because it's only at three stars. Uh, we need to unlock some more factories. We've got the one printing press, but we need a level four forestry and a level five forestry uh, to get those ones. But this one here, we just need more workers. Uh, workers until next level. We need to get up to 550. Uh, we've only got space for 496, so that's one thing. But this just might sort of change what we're doing to try and get some more workers over here. So, yeah, what I was thinking of doing was using the policy Industry 4.0 down here, which allows people to work in industry, even if they're highly or well or highly educated. But of course, having discussed it with some of the people on my Discord, uh, we've realised that doesn't work with the Industries DLC stuff. So to get some extra workers here... Uh, we're going to have to just wait for things to upgrade and expand. What I might just do is try and just pop a few more things in here. So at least we've got enough space for anybody that wants to come and work here. Um, and then we'll just take it as it comes. We've got room for another barracks, maybe. Could I squeeze one in there? No. I'll tell you what we might do is just try and flatten this area out a bit behind here. Let's grab this, make this brush a little bit bigger. If we take this size here... And I'm just thinking we'll take back this hill here a little bit and flatten all of this out. So now we've got space along here. And then we'll grab this road. And uh, let's see what we can do. If we sort of come like that and then curve that around to attach there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to attach it the other side as well. And then we could just pop in here. A few more little tree things that aren't too big. That one's actually, would that one sort of conform to the landscape? It does. I quite like that. 
Uh, let's maybe change that to not the tree I want, but it's nearly as good. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that one. And there may be a little something over here, just like that. Uh, what do I make that one order? Let's make this one order as well. And we can pop some trees around it. Yeah, what's that taking us up to? 556. We've got enough spaces. So if at any point there's enough people available to come and work here, then we know we will go up a level. Okay, right. So let's get on with the next thing that we're working on. Just before that, I've grabbed some alder trees. I'm going to try and just sort of put a few more around here. Just because it makes it look like that this then fits in. There we go, with what's going on around here. Okay, now we're back over to Orlando. And there's this area that we popped in here uh, in a previous episode, which has come along really nicely. I'm pleased with this. But then we've got this little spot here. Now, we could do with educating these lovely people. So, thinking of our university again. And the whole reason I'm doing all of this to do with the university is because we come over here. Our Sparta University. Oh! We've just gone over the required amount of citizens to get up to... Um, <laughs> renowned or renowned. To get up to the next level, whatever that is. Um, but the one after that is going to be a real struggle. But that's good, so we'll keep that one going. Uh, but over here, if we look at the education... At university none of these are university educated we do have the schools out policy on what will this area be named uh i was back there it is that one there but as we've seen as time goes by everybody ends up going to university anyway so i'm going to pop a little university campus in here and what we want to do is extend our main university campus uh, so it takes in this one so let me just get rid of all of that and then what we'll do is that little trick that we've done before. Actually, we could grab it off of here because that T, look, that's connected to that. That's connected to that. We've got a little one over there. So let's do that. So I'm going to come out of here. And we're going to come all the way around there like that. Snake it around. And then we're going to fill this bit in. There we go. And that's Sparta University. So if we're very careful then, we can take all this out. Boink. There we go. T. Excellent. Okay, so now anything we add in here goes towards our main university area. So let's just look at our rows that we've got here. So we've got the highway. We've got this road comes off. I think building it off of this road here makes the most sense. I'm just wondering whether we could go for like a full-on path university setup rather than loads of roads going through it. So this sort of area here will be like a parking area. What have we got here? Tree lines. Yeah, this will be good. So if we go, let's grab that one. And if that comes into there, like that, that'll be good. And then we'll go back over here and we'll grab. Yeah, let's go with the one way road. So what I'm thinking is, is they will sort of come in like that. Do you know what? I changed my mind. We're just going to go with a road like that instead. Uh, I was trying to be all fancy, and we just don't really need it. Uh, let's grab our small car parks. Can we fit these in here? Oh, maybe if we do some anarchy, we can get some more in there. There we go. A little bit of messing around with Move It Mod later. We'll get that fit in like that. Um, and then we can start running some of our... Mm, let's have a look here. It's the Liberal Arts College campus path around here. And get some of this built up in this area. So... Uh, maybe let's just use this one. Follow our nose. It doesn't have to be much more complicated than that, does it? So what could we have over here? Definitely some dormitories. So I'm thinking maybe you come in, park your car, walk over to the dormitories. We could have a couple there. Nicely surrounded by the trees. I think that's nice. I don't think you'd mind living there. Um, and then what else could we add in? A study hall, most definitely. So thinking maybe we'll keep that away from the road junction over here as much as possible. Everybody's pleased about that. And then we'd like a nice outdoor study area, which actually just taking up probably the space where that should go. Do you know what? I'm going to have that this side. I've changed my mind. Let's pop that there. And then we'll pop this one. 
look, they were unhappy, then they're happy again. And we'll pop this one over here. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. We probably don't need much more than that. Oh, everybody's so happy. Uh, let's go back over here. So students are coming up, coming down. Oh, what seriously did we miss out on the level by like a couple of students as the year rolled around? Thank you very much. Because anyway, coming back over here to university, we've got 10,000 odd eligible and only capacity of 8,480. So yeah, that is a reason why we want to get more people and more options. Uh, where are we? Here we go, over here. So what else could we add? We're going to close this area off over here, I think, away from these houses. Oh, uh, gymnasium. What about some sort of sporting? Could... Oh, bit big. Oh, bit big. Oh, bit big. Ooh, what about one of these islands over here? Having like a sporting venue on the end over here. Because we've used the basketball arena. Aquatic center. What's this one? Indoor stadium. Oh, that's massive. What about this one here? American football state. That would be just like perfect, wouldn't it? This one here, they'd be knocking the balls into the sea. Truck and field. I'm just wondering whether the aquatic center on the end here would just be great. Why not? Why don't we just add that in? Let's come over to this area here. We're going to take all of this here. Zoop. And it said it needs to be placed roadside. Could it be placed path side? Uh, if we take a path along here. There we go. Let's see how that works. Ooh, must be placed roadside. Okay. So we need to do a little bit of planning how we're going to get a road over to here. Okay, so I don't really want to take any roads off of here, uh, put any weird sort of junctions on the stuff. There's just not enough room. We might sneak in a slip road off. I don't know, actually. But over here, we've got this uh, junction, which I've checked, and it looks like everybody can get in every direction on it. And this little road that comes down here, if we could sort of run that across here... That could literally be it. It'd be like a little dead-end road. I mean, we may do other things with this road as time goes on. There we go. But let's just see. Where do we want this to go across? So I want it to end up sort of level with this here. So maybe this bit. Let's go like that. Are we going to get some sort of bridge? We will. And then we'll go to there. And we'll go to there, and then we'll go straight across. And this is going to get changed uh, from this road, because we can't put anything alongside that. Uh, yeah, let's go for the tree-lined one again. Excellent. And now we can place that on here. I've got to be careful because of the rocks. So there's one rock there. Okay, you're going to be saved. We're taking you to a safer place. Where's my rock? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's pop that one there. Enjoy your new life. Excellent. Oh, that just looks perfect on the end. Now, I just want to check that isn't the same building we've got over here. Because if it is, we're going to change it. I think it is. Darn it. Yes, it's the same one. Basketball arena. That is not the one I wanted. Basketball arena. No, goodbye. I wanted the other one, didn't I? This one here, the aquatic centre, which is much shorter. That rock could have stayed in its natural habitat, but never mind. Yes, this still looks nice. Look at that. And actually, that makes me think. Could we put another specialised building on the other side up there? Ooh, 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 ooh. So if we come off of here, is there enough room to get past? There is. And then we sort of snake along here. Right by the coast. Can I get underneath? I can. And then what I'm thinking of in our specialised buildings is sort of keeping in with the theme, the aquarium. I think that alongside the highway here would just look perfect. Let's just see if we can get a rose straight across here. That'll be good. I feel like this rock is going to be moving on. Uh, so let's pop him over here in Alien. Well, I can't find it. <laughs> it's Alien Rock Park. Make sure we don't destroy any other rocks in the process of moving the rock. The rock would not like that. There we go. And we can pop that one in there. Oh, 
That would just be fantastic. Coming along the highway and seeing that. And then with our aquatics centre the other side. Ooh, nice. What else could we put on here? Okay, so how about if we just pop a road along here on the other side. In fact, what I'm going to try and do, if we go like that, I want that to hook into there exactly at 90 degrees. No, hang on. Let's grab that. I want it a bit closer, actually. There we go. That's better. Uh, I could actually leave that road going under there. Yeah, that's fine. And then against this, I am going to put this one. Which one am I on now? Theatre of Wonders. No, Theatre of Wonders. That's the one I want. I think that looks good as well. Oh, this island. I mean, we're going to be doing some detailing and stuff here, but already this island looks like a fantastic place to be. And then at the end here, one final thing. If we sort of spread it out and pop it in this spot here, what could that be? Let's find out. Let's continue this road up here. We're going to sort of follow... Okay, let's do it this way. We're going to follow this alongside the trees a little bit. Not going to destroy any rocks. And then we're going to take that and place this road. Let's see. Sort of like that. Yeah, there we go. And then it's not going to go that way. So we're going to take this out and we're going to go sort of like this into this beach area. There we go. And I think this one fits in well, the Expo Center. Let's have that a little bit nearer the beach. Oh, look at that. I just think those buildings there are just going to look fantastic. Let's check out what it looks like at night. Uh, right click. There we go. Ignore the fact they've got no power and water. Oh, that's brilliant. So now we need to try and set it all up so people can get here quickly and easily and enjoy all of these facilities and get a bit of detailing going as well. Okay, might be an idea just to get this road here hooked up. So let's do that. So at least people can start coming here, even though we haven't got this thing totally ready yet. There we go. Excellent. Going to need some power. Let's jump our power across the water if we can. Uh, let's go into our disaster menu, put the power menu on. I'm going to use an earthquake sensor. And I bet if I pop it right on the edge here, it will jump. It didn't jump. Darn it. Okay, how about a tsunami warning boy? I don't think they jump electricity. Don't! Well, we'll leave one there anyway. That could be quite handy. I'm surprised that doesn't jump across there. Um, we're going to have to use some cables, aren't we? Darn it. Okay, let's pop some cables in. There we go. And that will connect in a moment once we get some parking and stuff in. So these are going to have a huge requirement for parking so we want to make good use of some of our larger parking assets under here seems like a perfect spot for a lot of parking i have to be honest although i don't really want to destroy <laughs> all of that greenery that's under there uh maybe we'll see about that let's just see if we can add some parking along the back here
Right, that is looking good so far. And I'm thinking we need to try and help people get across here. Because at the minute, they've got to drive all the way around. I mean, we're still getting visitors. There's still people turning up. There we go. Lots of car activity. Lots of visitors. Which is fantastic. But yeah, it's a long way to go. So how about we sort of hook in to this park that's here? Because then people will pay to cross over the road. To cross over the river here to get into this area. So if we go from here and just sort of do that, then we can hook in. Let's go like that. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Um, and then we're going to have to use one of these nature reserve side gates. There we go. I've got anarchy on, so that's covered in trees. Let's do that. Why are the trees still there? Oh, I know why. There we go. Okay, let's do that again. Move it mods. This ping. There we go. Excellent. Get there in the end. And then we're going to have to use a different path because the nature reserve paths don't have like a, a bridge version. I'm thinking, or oh, the cycling one, though. No. Let's go. Yeah, this one. I think this will be good. Yeah, this will be good. Let's go sort of straight across to the middle and then down the other side. And then just sort of curve that into there. Or go straight into there like that. I think that'll be okay. I think we could probably just drop this central section down a little bit. That's a little too high. No boats come along here, so we'll be fine. And let's just upgrade this last little section. Yeah, like that. And that little section like that. Yeah, there we go. So I can get across there. That's good. And then what about one at the other end as well from the university? Um, I don't think this will be a paid one. So if you're at the university, you get to go over here for free. There we go. And then we get that height to the same height as that height. Hopefully that looks a bit better. Oh, we could have it coming up a little bit. It's a bit low. There we go. Excellent. And I want this to connect over to here. Let's grab that. Let's go a bit of anarchy. Whoa, there we go. Excellent. And then we'll just sort of monkey around with this a little bit. Get that straight. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, excellent. So they can get across there now, which is good. So hopefully that will attract even more people. What's the visitors been like? We've got 28 a week, 15 a week, 31 a week. And this has got some matches coming up. I've put on free public transport when it's match day, but it's free public transport in our city anyway, isn't it? So that shouldn't be an issue. And then I would like to run a bus line to over here, um, which we can do from our bus. Now, do I, I don't really want to do it all the way from Hibiscus Tea Transfer. Although, I'll tell you what, though, some people will probably come from other parts of the city to this area. Oh, we need to name this area. You need to give me a name for this. You really do. Let me just pop a zone over here. There we go. So, as always, tea related We've got the Expo Centre, the Aquarium, Theatre of Wonders, and the Aquatic Centre. So, we need a name for this whole island that takes that in. I'm just thinking we've got the monorail coming down here. We could add a bus from the end here coming down the highway. That, to me, would seem like a good idea. So where could we add a bus in? Can we put that on? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. I don't want a drag line to add stop. I want a new stop. Can you let me add a stop? Create a new line. Thank you very much. And that's going to come all the way down the highway and stop. Uh, let's have it stop there. And stop. It's going to have to do a hawky balky turnaround sort of thing. So we'll do that there. And then stop here. And I think that should do for both. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then just go back again. It's going to turn around at the end there. Yeah, that's no problem. That'll be good. And then they can walk around and through there to get to that one. Yeah, excellent. Don't know how many buses we're going to get on there. Let's just check. Okay, bus line 38 to be named. Uh, vehicles 4, that is probably going to go up to 17. Wow, that is a lot. I mean, let's put 10. I think that's far too many, but we'll see how that goes. And it'll be interesting to see all oh, the parking. There we go. The parking is being taken care of. Brilliant. Yeah, you know what we do need over here is a, an extension to our ferry line, which comes in over here to HMP Guilty. 
Um, but we could definitely add that along here somewhere. And we've got this road here, which we could just literally hook that into there. Okay, let's try not to destroy that path. There we go. Use the move it mods. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll leave it lined up like that. And we'll just get rid of a bit of this land under here. Something just upgraded. And I've got a sneaky feeling that's our university. No, it isn't. It was a park or it was an industry. I'm not entirely sure which one it was. It wasn't tea tree wood production, was it? Nah, that's a shame. Okay, it's probably a park tucked around somewhere. Never mind. Oh, we've zipped straight past it. So let's put our line into here. And I think if we just hook that straight into the side there, uh, we've already got this ferry line. There's a couple there that come in and out. We could drag that one down there. And also this other coloured lilac one. <laughs> Not quite sure what colour that was. There we go. And that will fit in nicely to bring some more people in down to here as well. Fantastic. And I feel like I want to adjust this road. Let's use... I've still got the Touch It mod. But if you haven't seen my network multi-tool video, go and check that out. Uh, this has been just slightly updated to unlock segments. There we go. That's unlocked. We'll pick that road and then we'll upgrade that one. So it's the same. There we go. Excellent. And people are already coming along to queue for a ferry. Just what I want to see. Brilliant. Okay, the ferry's here, but it's going to do that weird hawky-borky thing where it just whacks into that and causes a huge problem. So I think what I'm going to do is use our... Is this our one-way ferry path? Yeah, so if we just delete that bit there, then I'm going to grab... Maybe a little bit further back. There we go. I'm going to grab... There we go. Grab that one, and that can go in. And then when it's done... Ooh, can I fit that by that bridge? Hopefully that's okay. And then that can go back out again. And then I'm hoping that will be okay. Yeah, you're on a one-way line. Oh, right, there we go. Look, we can do a quick test now. So you can go around. Yeah, that's fine. That misses that completely. Absolutely no problem at all. Brilliant. So I just decided to add a little extra something something at the end of the island. What do you reckon to that? I just think that fits in so well. Let's just have a look over here. We've got the floating cafe at the end, and then we've got the London Eye, which just looks absolutely wonderful on the end of this island. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you enjoy this build? Any name suggestions? I do promise, promise, promise that I've got a whole list of names that we'll start putting onto things. Oh, I've got so many, but we will do it. And thank you very much for watching. Check out the other video on the screen as well. Why not? Have a great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.